Hi all, in this video we're going to be looking at how to save and close a workbook. It seems simple enough, but it's actually, uh, there can be some pitfalls and it can be actually pretty tricky coding because when you click close, your workbook closes and the code ends. And so we're going to go through all the pitfalls. We're starting from basic and then we're going to go to kind of the most dangerous. So if you'll stick with me, we will go through this. First thing, first thing we're going to do is go to our developer tab. This right here is our best practice. So you would, um, I'm going to add some text so that we know to save it. I'm going to hit F8 and I'm going to save this. I've just saved it and I'm going to click close and that's going to close it. Now you'll notice that my workbook actually disappeared. Um, and if I go to Excel, it's gone. And so the workbook has closed, but Excel has not closed and that we will get to that in just a bit. So I'm going to go ahead and close Excel for now. We're going to open it back up and we're going to go through each one again. So the next one we're going to go through is close without warning. So again, developer, BBA. We're going to go through this guy. Now I'm going to hit F8 and you'll see close with warning. I just add that text. One of the reasons why I've added that text is because it does force a save. So there's two things that can happen. If I hit cancel, my code will continue. If I hit save or don't save, this workbook is going to close. Uh, now, because I hit cancel, it's going to go through these. So this work, this will only show if you hit save, if you use cancel during the save window. Um, I did put in an exit sub. If you did want it to end um, at that point, if you had it in a loop, that would be a nice little uh, kind of air handling touch. And then you've got this right here, which will never show. So we're going to run this again because we did ask if we wanted to save. I'm going to click save, and you'll notice again because we've used this workbook it gets closed but the workbook does not so let's close that out again we're going to open it back up and again i'm just closing excel when i click on that uh, because that workbook has already been closed so i'm double clicking now we've opened our workbook up one more time we're going to do close with no warning and it's really simple uh, we're going to go right here. We're going to add some text that's going to allow us to um, make sure that this can be saved. We're going to turn alerts off. And so what's going to happen is, is it's going to not show any warnings. So it's going to close the workbook and we're never going to make it here. So uh, quick best practice on that. If you do application display alerts, it prevents you from seeing not only saves, but also like uh, deleting sheets. And if you have a false, you have a you should put in a true. It's just the best practice there. So, and we're closed again. And now we open this again. And remember, we over overwrote this with with no warning. So again, it did not get saved. So I'm deleting that out. Again, we are heading to our developer ribbon. And now we're going to get into how to actually close um, close Excel and quit. So. What we've been doing is we've been closing the workbook and now we're going to close the application and so i'm going to show you real quick this this is kind of fun because i'm going to put in the save and quit you'll see that right there and then if we keep going i've created a little sub here that just adds a workbook tells me what book i'm in and then add some text and so if i hit alt tab there we go and then we're back here and back to the code and so we've just added that workbook now this workbook we're going to save, but what we're going to do is we are going to actually quit the application. And so what's going to happen is I'm going to get a warning on book one to see if I want to save it. Now again, if I hit save or don't save, um, then it's going to just close Excel. If I hit cancel, it's going to run the code and take me back to my workbook. So let's do that one more time. So we're going to go quit. We're going to go quickly through this. Creates that workbook. We've got book two. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to quit. And I'm going to hit don't save. I'm going to hit don't save. And what's going to happen is Excel is going to shut down. All right, I'm opening up for the last one, which is the most dangerous one. I would not recommend this. We're going to go to developer, click Visual Basic. And we're going to be looking at this last one. So this is quit no warnings so we've got f8 we're going to do we're going to add in some text in here so that would prompt a prompt a save we're going to add a workbook 
which is great. We're putting display alerts equals false. And again, best practice is to put it true there. I don't have that in this case. We're going to hit F8, and then we're going to go application quit. And the whole thing is going to shut down. And so those are the pitfalls and the best practices as far as save and close. Again, it can get tricky because you do have code that's running that you're going to close that workbook. So be careful.